welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today we're going to take a quick look at how to take a multicolor design that we have in vector art in Illustrator and we're going to convert this to a grayscale so that we can print this out as a spot color where we have the black here printing as a black black ink <clears throat> and then the colors we're going to print as half tones so that instead of having to print blue this is going to print on one screen with black ink and give us black a gray and another gray okay so what we're going to do and we can simply do this with any shapes as well you know you can actually create many different kinds of shapes okay and um, we can go in and, and just make it gray right now and I'm just pointing this out because it's it's the same difference really you could come in here and create something and if you wanted to make half tones this is kind of a quick and easy way to do it oops okay so I just created a rectangle here and you know it's gray and blah 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 so it's just the shape you know what I'm saying you could create any kind of shape or whatever you're gonna create in here uh, different objects or clip art and you can change the fill and stroke and stuff like that and we can do something like this so that we can print a black outline and a half tone in the middle here instead of a gray you know it's gonna be a half tone okay so I'm gonna select these objects and put them up here on this canvas which is actually really huge by the way I will have to fix that when we print out but all I'm gonna do basically is go up to edit edit colors and convert to grayscale and oh and then if I wanted to put a line around this I, I would want to do that beforehand too because that's what we actually did to help make it print better and look cooler you know I forget what line point or whatever but <laughs> okay you get the idea right but now I'm gonna make sure that everything's grayscale because anytime you create an object it could be you know whatever colors you just kind of chose to make it okay so now it's all grayscaled so it's pretty simple um, and remember this is Illustrator this is all vector art and I know you can do uh, half tones in Photoshop but I think uh, uh, you know this is easier <laughs> in many ways and not only that it's a higher quality half tone because it's actually vector and I think I, I just think it is uh, that's my opinion I guess maybe um, but we have a lot more control here because Illustrator is designed for print after all so we can do a lot of things with it in the print dialog and that's what we're gonna do now so we go up to file print okay and you know that's what all these functions are because Illustrator is designed for printing and uh, pre-press so for mine I, I have to tell it it's um, you know whatever 11 by 17 Oops. Okay. Just to get a page here, and the the document we were working with was really huge, so we're just gonna do it like that to make it easy. Okay. And all right, so we got that. I have the appropriate printer chosen that my Rip software works with. Right. Remember, you have to have that all set up. And now I'm gonna go to output. This is all. All these things are all part of the printer's controls for creating plates or screens or film positives so here we go to output and now we have to go here to mode and tell it that we want Illustrator hand to handle the separation and show us this okay so here it is here it's telling us you can see all these these process colors are off but the black is on because that's what it's gonna print all that in process black so it'll be half tone or have some half tones. Okay, so this will actually give us a true spot color or line art with a true, um, you know, half tone so that you actually have complete spot colors and complete half tones. And what I did right there was this is the frequency, meaning the lines per inch. Okay, so I changed it to 40. And then the degree, you know, for a one color, uh, 15 degrees is fine. That'll work plenty well and you can move the film on the screen if you happen to see anything funky but you shouldn't 
should be fine. Okay, so that would be it. And now, uh, let's see. I think I don't think I left anything out for you. <laughs> We're going to send it to the RIP software over here. Okay, and there it is. It, it generates this preview, which actually is pretty good right now. The last preview was not that great when I actually did the film positive. Because <laughs> uh, I, I worked with this piece of art earlier. But there you go. You can see that it's going to do the shadow of the text in this dot and the fill of this box that we just created to illustrate how you can create shapes and do this kind of stuff with. Okay, it's going to be all all half-toned. And in there, the preview's small. I guess I probably can zoom in. And who knows, I don't know if it'll show it. But anyway, you get the idea. That's it. Alright, and that's how you do it. The only drawback is, guys, yeah, I'm sorry, but you have to, I, you know, I like to work in vector art, so this was all vector, and of course, you have to have RIP software. So, those are the only drawbacks. But other than that, any shape that you create, and, you know, you can even use, like, um, some of the gradient tools in here if you wanted to, whatever. Uh, you can use this if you wanted to make something, and uh, make a sphere, and if you went and printed this out and converted this to dot and stuff, you know what I'm saying? This will create a halftone. So, you can have fun and experiment with it and print it out on paper to test and see what what does what. It's it's kind of cool. You'll have a good time with it. Alright, so we'll show you a little look at the uh, actual screen prints of, of the color job, the three color job, and then the uh, one color conversion. Okay, so... Uh, check that out, and uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time and attention. If you like what you see, please rate thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.